Welcome! So today I am going to be modeling my artistic process when it comes to developing my Egyptian sarcophagus and I'm going to be thinking about some of the art choices that I'm making. So I'm going to start off with a little sketch and I'm going to write my name on it just so I know that this is mine and just quickly I'm going to go and kind of map out the shape that I have for my sarcophagus and I'm going to be thinking I definitely want to do some facial features on mine. It doesn't have to exactly be the Egyptian style that we had been looking at in class but I really like these nice big thick eyebrows. And I'm going to go add a little bit of personality into it. Oh, that doesn't that doesn't really match up. I kind of want to fix those lines here. So I'm just sort of brainstorming how I am going to create this assignment. And I'm thinking as I'm going and adding my facial features, how am I going to add this to my sculpture? I think what I want to do here is I want to do paint, but I'm a little bit worried about my ability. What if my skill set isn't great when it comes to adding these details and these features? I think I'm actually also going to put some Sharpies in there. Now we've been talking about emotion in art a lot this year and I could go with this nice happy kind of like looking face or I think I'm going to make mine a little bit scary. I'm going to channel a little bit of the dark side. Ooh, maybe there's something, maybe if I arch up these eyebrows a little bit more, that'll kind of go with my mouth here. Okay, I like how that's looking. Now you can see that I've gotten a little bit further in the assignment, and I've actually added on here a headdress, and I'm going to be using some of the principles of design, and I incorporated a pattern into my art. I think that this is going to be made out of cardboard. Ooh, how am I going to attach it? Mm, hot glue. Love the hot glue gun. So I'm just going to make a side note there so that I remember that this is something that I'm going to need. And then I want to do some yellow paint with purple. I'm working on that as a color scheme, but I want that yellow to really sparkle. And I originally was thinking about some glitter paint, but I went over to the 3D cabinet and there wasn't any in there. So I'm actually just gonna add glitter right into some yellow paint, and I think that's gonna work out really well. I got a little bit further in my process here, and I started looking at the bottom of the sarcophagus. Originally, I was thinking that I would paint this all on, but then I like the idea of it becoming a little bit more three-dimensional. It is a sculpture after all, so I'm going to actually use that hot glue gun. I'm going to do a popsicle stick with a bead on top, and I'm contemplating actually adding some fabric here to the bottom of the sarcophagus, but I'm worried if I hot glue the fabric onto it, then I hot glue the popsicle stick, then the bead, I'm making this crazy weird scepter, if it's just, if it's gonna stick. So I, you know what, no, I don't, I don't, I'm really worried enough about it that I don't think it's gonna stick. I could do a little thing and try it out, but I think what I'm gonna do instead is I'm gonna switch this. And I'm gonna make it paint. And I feel like a nice off-white. And that way, if I have any holes from the plaster, I can go and I can cover it up with white paint. It's gonna work with the popsicle stick that I'm gonna hot glue on. Then, yeah, I'm gonna bring that glitter out. I'm gonna add a line of hot glue, put some glitter on, and I feel like this would be a really good idea for my project. Over here, I'm just gonna kinda write out my steps. Where am I gonna start? I've got my plastered mummy. I think I'm gonna start with painting the background of the mummy down at the bottom, and then I'm slowly going to begin adding these on. So these are the artistic choices that I am making, and now that I have my brainstorm, I'm ready to go.